Hello, welcome to this lecture video. So our objective for today's video is, is still on mathematical proof. So I am teacher Melai and these are the several ways for you to do proving. So it can be direct proof, indirect proof, proof by specialization and division into cases and mathematical induction. But in this video, we will just consider indirect proof. So what is an indirect proof? So this is showing that the alternative are false in alternatives rather are false instead of showing that the conclusion is true. And we can do that either using proof of the contra, uh, proof by contrapositive and proof by contradiction. So proof of for of the contrapositive. So if you you still recall that if we have an implication P implies Q, the contrapositive is not Q implies not P. While for proof by contradiction, we are going to assume not P. So we are going to negate the P and we derive a conclusion. And our objective is to derive a conclusion that is false for us to say or for us to conclude that, therefore, the P is true. So let us uh, do that by answering an, a particular example for this. So let's have an example that if N is even, so if N is an even integer, Then 3n plus 7 is odd. So this is our n is an even integer. This is our p. 3n plus, plus 7 is odd. This is our q. For contrapositive, this is, of course, not q implies not p. Therefore, what we are going to do is 3 if 3n uh, plus 7 is not odd, then n is not an even integer. And we know that not odd is, of course, even. And not even is odd. So it can also be stated as if 3n plus 7 is even, then n is odd. So using, of course, our not q, if 3n plus 7 is the even we are going to uh, show that that n is the odd number. So let us continue this. So we can actually do that by using if 3n plus 7 is odd. Uh, sorry, if 3n plus 7 is the even. Then uh, we can use 3n plus 7 is equal to 2y for some integer. So it is okay to come up with or to equate this with equal to 2y because we are saying that it is even. And we know that if it is in a form of a 2y, 2x, 2k, 2m, or we can use any variable, when multiplied by 2, by definition, this is an even number. So it is okay to also say that 3n plus 7 is equal to 2y. Now, our objective is to come up with an equation that will show that n is equal to 
odd number because in our conclusion, then n is an odd number. So to do that, so we have 3n plus 7 is equal to 2y. So as mentioned, our objective is to have an n here and to have 2k plus 1 on the other side so that we can conclude that n is the odd number. Okay, so let us remove this first. So let us continue our solution. So 3n plus 7 is equal to 2y. For us to make 3n plus 7 to n, so we can actually deduct this. So we are going to deduct a negative to uh rather we are going to add negative 2n's because 3n plus a negative 2n is equal to n or we are going to deduct 2n because 3n minus 2n is equal to n. And also we will remove 7. So to remove 7, we have to deduct 7. So it is 7 minus 7 or adding a negative 7. So since this equation, this is equal so we have to do uh, we, we also need to add a negative 2n and negative 7 on our equation on the other side because it's equal so 3n plus 7 minus 2n minus 7 so we add a negative 2n plus negative 7 on the other side so by simplifying this, this will be equal to n. And on our uh, other side of the equation, it is 2y minus 2n minus 7. So the next objective is how can we transform this into 2k plus 1. So n is equal to, so if we factor out the, uh, um, let's say if we are going to make this 2y minus 2n minus 8 plus 1 instead, because of course we want um, to show that it is the odd number, so we have to um, place a value that, that will consist of 1. So it is the, by... Uh, Writing negative 7 to negative 8 plus 1. Negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7. So this is n is equal to 2y minus 2. So we can already factor out our 2. So factor out 2. So we have y minus n minus Four, and what is left, of course, is plus one. So if we let y minus n minus four, so we let k be equal to y minus n minus four, then n is equal to 2k plus one. And this is, of course, odd number. So therefore, n is what so we can already conclude that therefore n is odd so this is using contrapositive now let us move to another example now uh, at this time we are also going to use by contradiction Uh, using the same example, so we are still dealing with if uh, n is an even integer, then 3n plus 7 is odd. So this is the same example. So by contradiction, we are going to contradict that 
3 n is odd. So we will, of course, assume that if 3 n plus 7 is even, so we are going to let n be equal to 2x. So this is by definition of an even number by substituting 2x in place of n. So this is, of course, 6x plus 7. And again, this can be... Uh, our objective is, of course, we cannot factor out... 2 here because we have 7. So this will be equal to 6 plus 1 so that we can factor out 2. And what is left is 2x plus, uh, sorry, 3x plus 3 plus 1. So if we let 3x plus 3 be equal to k. Therefore, it is equal to 2k plus 1. And this is odd. So this is by contradiction. So therefore, if it is even, if 3n plus 7 is even, the result is odd. So therefore, we can now also conclude that if n is an even integer, then 3n plus 7 is odd. So this is by contradiction. So thank you for watching.